Yes, yes, boys, welcome back to another Darken Battle video. It's Kizan here, and on this Darken video today, my guys, you know what? I had a quick idea. I was thinking to myself, God Tanks is just about to get his EZA in like one or two days' time. And I thought to myself, this is the last time I will be able to use this guy without his EZA. So he's kind of like this form of him is going forever type of thing. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I try and give him a showcase? You know, like let me let me throw him into an event just before his EZA and you know get it out of my system. Now, of course, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that good old like and subscribe button. Definitely helps your boy out. We're trying to hit 400 subscribers. You know, you could always help your boy out. But with that being said, let's get straight into the team build we will be using for this video. And as you can see, we've got just a Majin Buu Saga style of team. And I'm running him with the uh, Int Goten here. And the reason why is because they share a lot of attack links. And they don't share any key links, which you must think, why would I do that? But if you know this guy, you know I don't want any key links for this guy because he wants to have that 11 key. So let's see if I can get that 11 key. He is Rainbow Star, by the way. No, so this is the Rainbow Showcase. Links, not the highest, but they are a little bit up. You know, we did do a little bit of links with him a while ago. And we are going to jump straight into an event and see how it does because... Quick fact, uh, God Tanks was like my strongest unit at one point, like uh, my summoning path on Darken literally went, I got strength all to my Gohan, he was really nice, you know he was doing a lot of good stuff but he wasn't broken broken. Then I got uh, the physical Super Vegito which gave me access to uh, the Majin Buu Saga which I was really happy for, you know, it's a good team, it's a good team. But then I got God Tanks off the same banner and that changed everything. God Tanks was doing so much damage. Yes, he was taking a lot of damage. You will see that shortly. He does not tank. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. It's going to take us a while to get this rotation sorted. We need to get the AG of Go Tanks. AG of Go 10 here. Yeah, that's probably the best thing we can do here now. So uh, we'll keep him here for now anyway. So he hasn't got his linking partner with him. But uh, let's see what he does. Just a recap of what he does as well. You know, some of you guys may have forgotten. So he gets 120% attack plus an additional 60% attack and defense minus 30% for 7 turns. So he's going to be really strong for the first 7 turns and then he will uh, he will get a little bit weaker. So 2.75 though off the bat, like hold up. That's some insane stuff. That was uh, some insane damage straight there. He just one shot the Yamcha. Straight one shot him now. I do need to get this guy on float, so my rotation looks a bit weird here. You know, link putting this strength Goku and Vegeta with the strength Goku and Vegeta, but it's just for this rotation, just so I can get the Go Tanks the rotation in time essentially. Then let's see what we're doing here. These boys should be cleaning up anyway. You don't really need links here. Oh, they will take a little bit of damage though. I think without any. Nope. Okay, I take that back. They don't take damage. Okay, but we're about one month as well to the anniversary. So hopefully you boys saving those stones. Because, you know, many of you are going hard in the anniversary. So this would be the worst time to start, you know, single summoning or something. So definitely save up. Yeah, okay, I knew the one with links was going to clear that up. Okay, now, now we've got... Guard tanks surrounded by two supports. Like even though this is not exactly what I wanted for him, uh, you know we're just gonna, you know, we don't have a choice, right? <laughs> so let's see what he's hitting here. Two point nine here. Can't wait to get him as linking partner. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he's doing some serious good stuff. But as you saw there, he got slapped for five k against just TN. Okay, well, he got slapped for 15k, so I guess that, you know, that's showing him in a good light, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you know me and my support. You know my support have a high chance of getting me uh, killed. Okay, and the friend is stronger than mine, unfortunately. So uh, we're going to have to run the friend unit instead of mine. 
and let's see how this goes down. Okay, 3.9 million, that's a, a pretty good stuff. And uh, let's see, next rotation should be like the best rotation, I do think. I think next rotation will be the best. Depending on if like uh, I can get him his 11 key, that is the main thing right here. And what do you know, we can get the 11 key as well, this is perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for guys, okay. Strap in, because he's on 52k defense only. But he's got a lot of uh, attack links active. And uh, yep, yeah. let's see what he can do before his easy A. And we are hitting 3.49 million, let's just say 3.5 mil. That, you know, into a 3.1 additional, yo, this guy, I mean, like, God, I can't wait for his easy A, and it's later this this week as well, so, uh, you know, that's going to be some nice stuff, nice stuff. Now, of course, many people would run him with the Int Super Saiyan, well, Int Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, so transforming Gotenks, and some of you may be asking, why am I not using that transforming Gotenks, because, you know, they do share the most links, right? They share the most links. Well, it turns out I don't have him, so, uh, <laughs> you know, unfortunately, we got to do showcases with what we have, you know. I am not truth. I don't have every single unit in the game. Close, though. I am close. I am only missing, like, one yellow coin LR, so, you know, we try. We try our best. And uh, yeah, these boys are going to clean up. But I'm wondering how he's going to be now. I just lost that extra attack buff, I do think. Or I think the next turn would be the last turn of the attack buff. But uh, let me just double check here. Yeah, I think this is the last turn of his attack buff. And then he will become like a... He'll get a bit more defense, but then his attack drastically drops. I can only get a 10 key, unfortunately. I mean, I could do something like this and try to form a better one for him, but let's see what he's doing on the 10 key then. God, missing a lot of supers here. Well, only one, actually. Ah, yeah. And the uh, LR's going to be fine on the end there. Got a bit lucky. 2.42, okay. On a 10 key. Again, this guy did come out for global so long ago like i can't even explain how long ago it was and oh god that goten is taking damage yeah we haven't got a goten or trunks on the team so uh yeah that's not gonna end well for us i know that well it doesn't matter about this rotation because we always have this rotation to fall back on and is it giving me access to it? Yes, it is. And uh, we're going to speed up this showcase just a little bit. With a bit of strength Vegito help. You know what I'm saying. Always got to love the strength Vegito coming through. Let's go. Okay, now the plan here is just kill, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if my super attack doesn't kill, my counter definitely will, so... Uh, yeah, this is a dead trunks right here. And then it begins the actual test, the strength stages. Because he is a physical unit, the Super Saiyan 3 God Tanks. This is going to be a problem, oh my god, okay. Okay, so his defense is now 56k since his passive has fallen off. But uh, I don't think that's enough. I like, he's gonna get super attack. We'll try. We'll get him super attack. Uh, I'm gonna hit this up for this boy here, and I can hit three orbs, so I can get the best super for me. He's gonna take massive damage there. Again, I don't really care though because he's not gonna one shot me, but it pushes me towards the into Vegeta, I guess. This guy's not doing much. He's dead just for links. We're gonna take a lot of damage here, actually. Well, it would be kind of embarrassing to die here. I mean, we have already seen the highest attack stack I can get, which was the 3.49 or 3.5 million 
but uh, we'll see how he goes. Oh god, he's going to take a lot of damage here. Play for me. 200k. 264k. Bloody hell. Okay, but it gets us the int for Gito to carry us on. So that was the main uh, reason, I guess, I can say. Yeah, I can use that as my excuse for taking that much damage. Yep, definitely the best thing for me to do that. Okay, let Int Vegito go first, of course, to give 30% attack to the rest of the rotation. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we potentially can kill this Goku here. I mean, as long as Goku doesn't dodge any of this, yeah. Because of these... Do some good damage. Oh god, this is going to be through the roof. Yeah, 810k non-crit counter. It's like... This rotation is just not fair. I guess it's okay for me to run, though, since I'm running such a... I'm not that optimal rotation right here. It's definitely not something I would use day-to-day -day for my... Uh, uh, Majin Buu Saga. Well, we get another 11 key. Okay, so we got 11 key here, boys. And this time, we got the Kid Buu. So this is going to be the highest attack stack I can get him after the 7 turns. Oh, so we get to see both ways. Okay. So it was 3.5 million pre-7 turns. Now let's see what goes on around here. Again, we get a docking attack to the into Goten. Now he's not going to do much damage. It's literally he's only got 1.7 mil attack stack since he has not got a kid trunks with him. He's going to take some big damage like 100 and something K. Oh, only 96. I will take that. Okay, but what is Gotenks hitting now? This is the God Tanks. 2.98, honestly. So it's gone from 3.5 to 2.98. So basically from 3.5 to 3 million. But look at that damage though. Oh, we just took 100 and something K there. Yikes, we took a big damage. I'm not even sure about the ending, dudes. Like, how are we going to survive that? We're going to try our best. <laughs> like, this is not just a showcase. This is a showcase slash survival. Like, will we even complete this event with a rotation that squishy? I got no idea. Okay, I put Vegito there because I want to get some of those good counters in. You know, we're trying to clear this as fast now. And since there were like four hits at the beginning, I thought, why not just throw Vegito there? Because he's going to do some good, good damage either way. Now the int of Vegito coming through. Give me a crit. You are rainbow for a reason. I didn't need to crit. Okay, now this is where we stand off, I guess. Now, he has, again, I will say, not much defense. I had to hit five orbs to get that as well. But how is he going to do here? So, we do not have much defense. Well, 43k defense. I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm just going to let it happen. 26k. That's with being type effective. Oh, my God. God, this was going really good and then he started doing damage to me but we're still doing damage back don't get it twisted like look at this and now oh, we're gonna take like 140k 140k i'm guessing oh, okay 100k damn i'm usually good with those guesses i'm usually good with those guesses Okay, these units gonna do some damage. I think, yeah, Gartex did the most damage on this rotation though, so uh, as squishy as he is, he's still doing a stupid amount of damage. I don't know if that's just because they do share quite a lot of attack links, these guys. Which, of course, does play a massive part. Uh, that's gonna be easy 24 key, gotta love it. And uh, that's over 18 key, that's also on the nice list. A bit of that, and we are good to go. Honestly, we could just kill here. I would rather kill here, to be honest, than have another rotation of that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. 
Oh, if we do kill here, this means we did it with no items, right? Oh, can we please do this with no items? With a uh, guard tanks and int go 10 rotation? I hope, I hope we can kill. Okay, come on, big damage here. Big crit. Yep, and we actually kill. We actually kill. Counter, yep. Oh, okay. Nice one. Okay, so we got to see his biggest attack stack. And we got to see his biggest attack stack when his passive kind of wore off. That's all I wanted to see, to be honest. Yeah, so back to the board. I can't wait for his easy A. Like, he's doing really nice stuff before his easy A. Uh, the only thing that lets him down super a lot is his defense. Of course, you saw him getting slapped up. But he was slapping back. Don't get it twisted. He was doing the damage back. So, yeah. This guy, high risk, high reward. I don't think that changes much, even with the easy A. But uh, he's going to be fun to run. So hopefully you guys are ready for that easy A. And this will be my last time using him. Before he does get that extreme Z Awaken. I don't know, actually, maybe people will want to see him on stream. I will wait to see that. But anyways, I'm going to be bouncing out now. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you do enjoy any darkened content, and I'm going to bounce up in a bit, guys, and have a good one.